flash the ER6 um, and we're going to do that really quickly as it's a really simple process we've already flashed the receiver in the TX16S so let's switch on over to the computer screen all right so we're over here on the computer screen and um, we also have our drop down which is here so you can just see really quickly what we're working with so essentially we have is the R6 still in the box here um, and I have the the UART dongle or UART tool from Radio Master and we're going to use this to actually flash this receiver so let's go ahead and actually go ahead and connect it really quickly and basically what you're going to do is connect it here and this guy is ready now all we got to do is plug this into the USB on the computer we're going to do that in just a second let's go ahead and pull out this Radio Master receiver and in case you didn't know it does come with quite a few different cables let's go ahead and pull this guy out really quickly straight out of the box I've actually done the unboxing and, and shown it to you before if you checked out some of my other videos on my Altone Tech channel you got an opportunity to see that and here's the receiver itself antenna wires coming out this end a uh, nice little plug connector there for the antennas then you have your VBAT and then your TRX connection there. So there we go. So now this is plugged in, it's ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and get the computer ready so we can start doing the flashing. So let's go ahead and do that. And sorry about the uh, the sound being a little bit low. Um, I, <laughs> I'm turned away from the microphone, so we we'll have to have to work it out okay here we are on the computer screen let's go ahead and open up the express lrs configurator i have the latest version of the configurator here which is three uh, uh 1.6.1 and then the most recent release is 3.3.2 and you see that in one of my previous videos i actually shared how to do the or uh, install the configurator so if you go over and check out some of my other videos you'll see how to install this configurator so what we're going to do is we're going to look for okay releases you don't want to worry about showing pre-releases if you click on pre-releases as i've said before in the past it shows the rc um, uh, releases here you never want to use those those are they're you know they're just test releases but the ones that are the actual number those are what you want to use so for target since we're talking about the er6 we're going to go ahead click down and look for a radio master so radio master 2.4 I'm going to go ahead and click on that in the device we're looking for the er6 so we're going to go through the list here er6 so we have the er6 2.4 gigahertz diversity so that's the one we're going to use and now we have that um, our flashing method is going to be uart um, device options we're not going to worry about anything here standard mode or manual we're just going to use standard our regulatory domain is ISM 2400. My binding phrase is actually still populated from the binding phrase that I used to flash the internal module in my radio. And then our Wi-Fi, we're going to go ahead and set that up. Wi-Fi SSD, which is already set. And you can just click on the little eyeball to make sure that you have it correct. So last but not least, we're going to go down and and select serial device so we haven't connected it yet so let's go go ahead and go over here and connect it we're going to plug this guy in while holding down the boot button and so we have the boot button plugged in and hold, held down and i'm gonna hold it with this hand and plug it in and now it's plugged in and it should be good to go. You have no lights on the receiver, so it should be ready to be flashed at this point. So we can go back over to the screen and now we're ready to flash. So we should have the correct one selected, which is actually this one, 147, 420. 
and then we can go ahead and hit flash and we should be good to go and now it is doing its thing so we are good to go all right nice little notification that the builds could take a little bit of time it's at 100 percent and success we have now flashed the receiver and we are good to go and that is just awesome all right so we now have it flashed it is good to go and she's ready to go if i unplug it now that we should not have any problems we should be able to go to let's go ahead and unplug there and push down on a little button on the bottom and unplug the cable now we should be able to create a model and then have this particular receiver bound to that particular model and we should be able to fly it now what i'm going to do i'm not going to demonstrate that in this vid video but i will have a video uh, possibly the next video coming up um, where i will go ahead and take this receiver create a model for it in my radio connect it and use it on my bench test little plane that i created so that we can actually test it out and make sure it works with that thank you so much for stopping by and checking this guy out with me and um just a quick view of how to flash these little receivers we're going to do the er8 later um because it's going to go into possibly my larger aircraft here but we're also going to be configuring and putting in a gyro that i'll be using with this receiver as well so so thanks so much for again for coming by and checking this out with me i hope that you learned something i hope this was beneficial to you have an absolutely fantastic day and i look forward to seeing you again very very soon